What's up YouTube? This is Moto Cookie coming at you from Wyoming. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around video of my bike. It's a 2016 Suzuki DRZ 400 Supermoto. Jump in here in the front. We got the Acherby Supermoto front fender. It's a lot shorter in stock, narrower in stock. It, it's got some openings in there to allow more air to flow in. It is a lot narrower and shorter, so if you get caught out in the rain, it will get you soaked, but it just looks a lot better than stock. Um, can't really see, but in the headlight, I've got a Xeon bulb. Just make it a little brighter, get caught out at night. Remove the front turn signals on it. Out here in Wyoming, you don't have to have turn signals, so I just use hand signals. Also took those reflector brackets that mount underneath the front fender. Also got the Righteous Stunt Clutch. It's the one finger ball bearing model. It's not set on the easiest setting. It's set on just the, it's easier than stock, but I was having problems on the easy pull setting where it, it, it wouldn't, it would disengage like, and it was all the way back here, but now it like disengages here. So it, it just works a lot better. It's a really nice clutch. They're, they're a lot of money, but they're, they're well worth the money and with this clutch you have to remove the the clutch switch that you have to pull on the clutch to start it so I just loop the wires up there in the underneath the headlight shroud got the pro grip 714 dual sport grips they're like a dual compound gel they're they're so much nicer than the, the um, stock waffle cones I just do not like waffle cone grips had to do a little modifying for them to work they have like an extra donut over here and over here just had to cut them a little bit they're nine dollars so it's not too bad got this little mirror off of Amazon it's just, it's just a mirror for a bicycle it goes on with this little rubber strap here it, it works really great I mean I see my side a little bit but I can see right behind me just fine so it does a job and out here in Wyoming you have to have a mirror and has you have to have at least one on the left side of your bike so I just put one on it and it works got the Zeta Z carbon gas cap it's a non-locking cap got the vent tube on it just looks a lot nicer than the stock one down here on this side we got the Raptor fuel valve just got reserve off and on got long Wyoming winters out here so I, I like to when I park my bike I like to know that the fuel is shut off I'm not a fan of the vacuum ones plug the vacuum on the other side of the carburetor and it's a direct bolt-on with this Raptor one you just reuse the stock spacer that goes on up underneath here and it's a direct bolt-on it works works great it's $22 it's it's really cheap and the carburetor I got it rejetted I got the JD jet kit it's got the 155 main with a 25 pilot and the blue needle on the third clip. Also down here I got the extended fuel screw from Thumper Talk. It's set on a turn and a half right now and it seems to be running really good for me. And it hasn't really gotten warm weather out here yet, so I might have to adjust it, tweak it a little bit, but it's it's running really good for me. And on this side I got the Thumper Talk case savers. Also the MSR plus one shifter. Um, it's an inch longer than stock. So if, if you're having a problem with your bike going from first to second, it likes to go into neutral. This shifter really helps. I, I had that problem. It's like you have to throw it a little high to get it into second. With this shifter being it's out a little further, it it helps me go into gear. And, and I haven't had really any problems with that neutral problem, but the only problem with the MSR is they say it's not designed for case savers and you can see right there it's rubbed a little bit but once it's rubbed its little spot it, it it's not touching anymore it's it's it doesn't grab it never grabbed before so if you don't like that then don't buy the case savers or just buy you know a different shifter but I, I really like the MSR shifter I got the uh, Zeta Z Carbon sprocket cover looks a lot better in the stock. Um, 
opens it up so I can clean in there a little bit. I'm not a big fan of carbon fiber, but a little here and there is pretty nice. Also got the uh, DRC Super Motard pegs. I got the little slider on the bottom, and then they're they're a lot wider than stock, and they're also the way this angles up, they sit up a little bit higher than the stock pegs. So if you do a lot of off-roading, um, you can buy these pegs without the slider, and they're a little bit cheaper. But they're they're just so much better to stand on than the than the stock pegs. So got the uh, remove the kickstand switch. If you do any kind of jumping, it'll it'll shut your bike off when you land. And I looped it. It's about up here somewhere. Not really a mod, but I wired in a, a battery tender there and kind of hit it, hit it away to make it look a little nicer so you don't see it dangling. Go on the other side of the bike. Took the mirror off of this side and just put in a little plug to keep water and dirt out. Also over here, you can't really see it, but I've got the, the Zeta aluminum quick turn throttle tube. And uh, it says it's a quarter turn from stock. And I'll just kind of like demonstrate it if you can see. There it's closed, there it's wide open. Closed, wide open. It, it doesn't take much to, to twist the throttle wide open. It's, it's a really nice setup and it, it's a lot smoother than the, the stock plastic ones. Got the case saver on this side and the, the other super motard peg. Over here I got the uh, eBay passenger peg eliminator. It's got the little boss on it so it mounts to the exhaust pipe. Just kind of hold the exhaust up. Also I got the MRD Z Pro exhaust. It's a 12 inch shorty. It's also got the uh, spark arrestor in it. Note it's not a forest approved spark arrestor. Um, if you want to force to prove one that's actually stamp, Yoshimira or FMF probably is your way to go. Um, this exhaust is about six and a half pounds with the spark arrestor. The stock one with the heat shield was about 11 and a quarter pounds. So remove, move, remove some weight, gain some power. Looks a lot better too. And uh, there's a guy on YouTube called Tyler. I'll put his link in the description. He does a really good comparison video on it. So. If you guys want to hear what it sounds like. The back here, I removed the removed the turn signals and also removed the, the tool bag that was there. And I use these little automotive push pins. It just goes through and it, it holds the fender down. And the fender doesn't rattle or anything. And I just, I like the look of that other, rather than putting the bolts back in. And being I took the tool bag off and don't have any tools, I found this little thing from Cruise Tools. It's called the Outbacker and it's got sockets, screwdrivers. If you ever need to get into your battery or something, you know, you have to have a socket set. So the only way is half a pound. You throw it in your pocket, you forget about it. it. It's a really nice tool setup and it was like 20 bucks. Well, and last but not least on the back here, I got the uh, DRC Edge 2 taillight and smoked. This is the Thumper Talk spec bracket so you don't have to drill your license plate and it also has the mounts for turn signals so it's a really nice taillight I do not have the upgraded LED board I might go to it but as of right now $85 for it I don't think it's worth it I really think it should be cheaper than that but that's all I got the mods done to the bike right now a few other things I might want to do um, other than that um, I'll post all the the links for the parts that I bought in the description. Um, like my video, subscribe. I'm going to start motovlogging soon, so hopefully you guys will see more videos out of me pretty soon. Thanks, guys.